Fight Simmers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, we are doing the Bush Trip Interstate 5 by Perfect Flight, and we are currently on part two, Kelso to Ashland, and we are now working on leg number three, which is Malin Sweet Field, K-E-U-G, which is near Eugene, and we're going to be flying to Roseburg Regional, KRBG. So, and it's about 60 nautical miles. Uh, so, uh, that's uh, the next flight. So, uh, I will uh, meet you over in the cockpit when we're ready to go. Okay, we are in the cockpit, ready to go. I have set the elevation for 3,500 feet altitude and we are going to climb at 500 feet per minute uh, to reach that. Uh, so we are leaving again from Malin Sweet Field here in uh, Eugene, and we'll be arriving at uh, Roseburg Regional in Roseburg, Oregon, which is about 60 nautical miles away. So I am going to start the timer, and then I'm going to minimize this for now. Uh, once we get going, we're going to we're facing north, so we are going to swing to our right uh, to pick up on our route, and we'll be able to set our GPS. So, and as always, it's going to tell me that the uh, brake is on, and uh, I know, so uh, I will uh, turn it off once we get uh, revved up. And here we go. We got uh, 15 degrees of flap, so that shouldn't be too awful bad. And so let's uh, lift off. And we can go ahead and pull that flap in. And we are going to start swinging back around. She may start her narration here pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. So if she Leave does, the airport and turn left to overfly Eugene. Well, Eugene I, known for its natural beauty and outdoor recreation opportunities. It is situated at the southern end of the Willamette Valley, surrounded by mountains, forests, and rivers. The city is home to the University of Oregon and its renowned athletic programs, and is also an important cultural center for the region with a thriving arts scene and numerous festivals and events throughout the year. Okay, so that is a little bit about Eugene. Let me uh, go ahead. We're starting to... Uh, so I should be able to turn our autopilot on. Did that turn on? There we go. There we go. Autopilot on. Uh, we're all set. We should be climbing. And... You got the spiel on Eugene, uh, which is pretty much right dead ahead up. And in here is what we're going to be going over and then we're going to be making a uh, hard right or not a hard right but a right as we move forward uh, we are going to be uh, covering Cottage Grove Lake uh, Yonkala and Sutherland and then finally our Roseburg Regional Airport alright so let's minimize this let's uh, hop outside We'll minimize that, and I'll let you guys enjoy the flight.
Continuing on you can admire on your left Cottage Grove Lake. Cottage Grove Lake is a beautiful reservoir located in the southern part of the Willamette Valley. It is a popular destination for fishing, boating, hiking, and camping. The lake is surrounded by lush green forests that offer a serene and peaceful environment to the visitors. Cottage Grove Lake is also a popular camping spot. The campgrounds offer a range of amenities, including showers, restrooms, fire pits, and picnic tables. So here is a picture of the lake. Now, it is a long ways down, so uh, once we get to it, about the time we get to it, we're going to be uh, hearing about Yonkala, and I actually have a true story about Yonkala, so uh, stay tuned for that. So once we get down here, I'll point that out. are coming up onto the lake which you can see right there in the picture that's the lake right there so uh, Yonkala is a small town located in Douglas County the nearby Umpqua River offers excellent fishing and water sports the town also has a number of historic sites and landmarks including the Yonkala Pioneer Cemetery which dates back to the mid 1800s Yonkala is a close-knit community where residents enjoy a high quality of life and a relaxed pace of living. It is a great place to visit or live if you are looking for a peaceful and picturesque setting in the heart of Oregon. Okay, so I said that I have a story about Yonkala. And this goes way back to when I was a just a young lad of uh, uh, in my uh, early teens, uh, we grew up on the farm, and so rodeo was a big uh, part of the family. And so there was a junior rodeo that uh, we came down and attended, and I rode bareback. I didn't win anything, but we made the trip down and uh, uh, participated in the rodeo, and I still remember it to this day. So uh, just flying down here kind of reminded me when I saw young Kala. So just a point of interest of my own. All right, enjoy the flight. Uh, we're still moving on. And I'll try to point out, I had a difficult time finding this picture. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to point this one out or not. I believe this uh, 
picture here is right along this valley, so... A little further south, we fly over Sutherland, a small town, surrounded by forests. Sutherland has a diverse economy with industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and retail, contributing to its growth. Okay, again, as I was saying, this is, looks like where Yonkala uh, picture was. And so this one, I think I know where this one's at. So I'll be able to point this one out. Uh, and it'll be just about the time we are getting ready to head for the regional airport. coming into the town of Sutherland that lake right there is that lake right there so uh, nice uh, little town so these buildings are going to be off and over on this side over here so she should start narrating here pretty quick uh, for Roseburg uh, Regional Prepare to land at Roseburg Airport. The airport is primarily used for general aviation, although it does offer commercial flights through Boutique Air. The airport has one runway, which 4,994 feet long. It also has a terminal building that offers basic amenities such as restrooms, vending machines, and a waiting area. Roseburg Regional Airport is an important transportation hub for the region providing access to business medical services and recreation. So the airport is going to be right up here. So uh, I am going to pop inside the cabin here uh, real quick and start getting things set up. You can kind of see where it's at right there. So I am going to take over. Uh, let's turn this off and this off and that off and start uh, slowing the uh, aircraft down. And let's kind of get this set and start uh, dropping in elevation a little bit. It's a little tricky flying into this one because you've got those hills. Uh, you really kind of have a short uh, passageway kind of in between those hills. And then you've got that uh, little hill that kind of sits right in front of the airport. And so you kind of got to come in low over that hill and then drop down. And to be honest with you, it's not really any easier by the looks of things coming in from the other direction. So this is uh, the best approach, which is what they have you coming in as. And so uh, we are getting a little closer here. Let's go ahead and try to slow the craft down a little more. Let's go ahead and put a flap out. And I think we're pretty well lined up, not too bad. There we 
again, we've got this uh, little hill right here. I am going to put one more flap out. I can only imagine what it would be like for a, a commercial uh, airliner to drop drop into here. So I get back over a little bit, get lined up, and should be pretty good here. go and let's see if we can slow this thing down and I think we should be able to hit the next uh, taxiway of course we got a vehicle driving along the next taxiway so let's uh, start turning now because we know how this turns on a dime Oh, wow. I just can't believe that this doesn't turn any better than it does. That's it. That's the best that I can do turning-wise. Oh, 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 look out. Oh. Oh. Well, let's get stopped here before uh, we uh, have any more problems and get this leg over with. Ah. There we go. Leg completed, checked, 26 minutes. And uh, we uh, took out a forklift here at the end. All right, well, I hope you liked the uh, video. Uh, I enjoy uh, flying along, uh, kind of bringing back certain memories that I uh, remember along the way. And uh, some beautiful country that we get to see. And matter of fact, the next few legs I know are going to be really beautiful we're going to be going through a lot of uh mountainous terrain and we should be going by uh, lake shasta here in another two or three legs once we get down into california all right all you flight simmers out there if you like this video please hit that thumbs up it really will help out the video and uh, please subscribe that will really help the channel uh, and uh, ring that bell uh, well, I'll let you know when I am uploading new videos and I am always uh, loading uh, videos on a weekly basis. So uh, stay tuned. All right, all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.